I'm Emma. And I'm Caitlin. And we love bedtime Bible stories. Here's Tommy with his brown Bible and his piano in his little space. Here's Eddie, bald, bald Eddie, um, with his red Bible, the word of the day, and his little space. And we love bedtime Bible stories. <laughs> It's almost time for bed Before you rest your sleepy head Hope you'll take a moment or two We got a bedtime Bible story for you Before you end this day Before you count those sheep We hope to take Let us tell you a Bible story So you can have a great night's sleep Cause it's bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories. Bedtime Bible stories with the skit. Guys. Yeah! Woo! Hey, welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories. I'm Tommy. This is my best friend in the world. Hey buddy, hey buddy, how you doing, buddy? Good. Good. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, I'm Eddie, and that's right. We are the Skid Guys, and welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories, season two. <laughs> if you're excited right now, and you're in your homes, and you're watching this, just scream as loud as you can right now. One, two, three. Ah! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Ah! I didn't know that season one was even season one. I thought we were just doing this thing. And then and then you all kept going, we want more, we want more, we want more. And then we're like, okay, we got to do another season. Okay, we, gotta, we, we get gotta, to do another season. We would love to. Yeah. We would love to. So a couple of things. We want to say thank you also for, to K-Love Radio for being a part of Bedtime Bible Stories. Thank you so much. They're so positive and encouraging. They're so great. Yeah. Also, if you need videos, even though uh, some of you are going to school, some of you are staying home, no matter what your world looks like and you're looking for free stuff, go to SGTV and we got it for you right there. Oh, so, and Ed, just I know we didn't have this plan. I was reading in the book of James today and I read that passage that says nobody knows what tomorrow holds. And I thought that should be like the memory verse of 2020. Yeah, Nobody that's knows deep. what tomorrow holds. That's right. That, that's a good one. That's a good one. And so we would love it as you are watching, comment, put things. And here's what you need to keep in mind. If you're new, just raise your hand if this is your first time to be uh, Bedtime Bible Stories. Great. Put down, comment where you're from and allow the BBS regs or regulars to love on you, to say welcome. And if you have any prayer requests or needs, write those down as we're going along and our tribe of people will love on you and you'll become a BBS reg as well. Yeah, but don't put down where you're from. It's your home. Lift it up. Encourage it. <laughs> okay, so so we did that. So, um, buddy, I, uh, I don't know about you, but I got my red Bible. Where'd you get that? It's my Bible. It's my <laughs> red Bible. I got my brown Bible. Brown Bible, what do you see? Hey friends, if you don't have a Bible, we'd love to give you one. You can go to, uh, you can uh, tag us at Skit Guys and say, Skit Guys, I need a Bible. Or, or you can email us at skitguys.com and say, Skit Guys, I need a Bible. Either way. And we will send you one. Give us your address. We would love to put a Bible in your hand so you can go along with us when we do this. So, okay. So I've got my Bible. You've got your Bible. We're in. Hold on. We're in, Hold on. We're not the what? only people with Bibles tonight. Show us. Show me. Show me. This is Allison's daughter. She's got the Bible Force Bible and says she's getting ready for a really good night's sleep, which is fantastic. And then check out this crew, Eddie. Okay. This is Andrew, uh, Brian, Caleb, D, Evan, Faith, and Grace, and they've all got their Bibles. You all, that's so wonderful. Thanks for being a part of BBS and uh, getting their Bibles. Okay, that so. Was litter, by the way, that was a litter. That was, kids. That was a litter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to be looking at Genesis chapter four on a story. I, yeah. 
very beginning of your Bible. Yeah. So the Genesis is right here. So here's a story. Uh, you like that? I did. Uh, two brothers from Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Right. Some of you may know their story. Some of you, this may be the first time you're ever hearing it. So it didn't, you know, this was a tumultuous relationship at best, right? It was at best. Yes, they, at best. Friends, they put the fun in the word dysfunction. Yes, right? they did. They did. <laughs> this was the first dysfunctional couple right here. They did not ride in the back seat of the station wagon very well. Right. They were like, stop touching me, stop touching me, stop touching me. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to pick up uh, in Genesis chapter 4. Uh, probably in verse two and a half, I guess, you know, after Adam and Eve had these children. And it says this, when they grew up, Abel became a shepherd while Cain cultivated the ground, worked the land, so to speak, right? Yeah. Farmer. He's a farmer. When it was time for the harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. That's a key word, some. That's very interesting, some, okay? Some of his crops to the Lord. And then it says this, Abel also brought a gift, the best of the firstborn lambs from his flock. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but he did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry, and he looked a little rejected, dejected. Uh, hmm? Hmm? Uh, I forgot to show the word of the day. Oh, uh, oh! Here, I'll shut my eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I'll tell them what it's about. Okay, okay, okay. This, okay. So here's what we do. Every time we do a word of the day, and anytime you hear this word, then wherever you are, you just shout it out. Or if you on your computer, you want to type out, you know, word, word of the day, or whatever it is. It's just kind of pay attention. And the goal is that at the end, that Eddie can maybe guess what the word of the day is. And I meant to share it with you earlier, and I totally forgot. I got excited about Bibles. That's a good thing to get excited about. Okay, I'm now showing the word of the day. This, I look. Don't look. No, no, hold on. This is the word of the day. All right? So when you hear, you, oh, you are trying to peek. You are no good. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, you can look now. So if you hear that word, everybody shout it out. Okay? And Eddie, okay. I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to give you a hint. You already read it. It was, it was a word that was in the passage you read. Okay. That's okay. a hint. That's a hint. Game on, buddy. Okay, uh, so let's act out Cain and Abel. Okay, I'll be Abel. Okay, I'll be Cain. Well, that is what that means. Yeah, I'll be Cain. All right. Um, hello, brother. How are you, brother? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey. You know, you know brother, um, I think it's time that, uh, you know, we offer our gifts to the Lord, yes? Yes. By the way, tonight, David Cassidy is playing the role of Abel. <laughs> or, or that guy that says, move that truck, huh? Yes, maybe. Yes, him. That's an old joke. <laughs> or, or maybe maybe a young Justin Bieber, no? Huh? Or one of those people from any boy band you can yes. name today, currently, right? So, okay, <laughs> so Brother Kane, you have... Yeah. You have a bit of an accent. I didn't know that yes. was coming, but that's fantastic. Well, it all starts from somewhere, right? Yeah, that's, right? So that's how accents started. People just decide to talk that way. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, I you I work the land, but um, I'm uh, Kane. I'm Kane. I'm working on a bit of a uh, maybe what they call uh, how you say franchise, maybe a chicken place. Oh, really? <laughs> you're gonna do chicken? You're gonna you're you yeah. Kane? You. You're gonna do so. What do you What are you gonna call it? You're gonna call it KFC. Ah, you're gonna call it churches. You, you're I gonna call of, it Chick Fil A. Crispy ah, chicken. I kind of like my name. I may just call it Canes. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. oh okay. <laughs> well, fantastic. I bet it's good. Will you do crinkle uh, cut fries or straight fries? <laughs> I think it's curly fries. I think I'm gonna go curly fries. I think it's way. crinkle cut. Did you mean crinkle? Uh, it's crinkle, crinkle cut. <laughs> Yeah, crinkle, yeah, crinkle, crinkle. Hey, ah, that so many Yeah. So, so I'm excited. Are you excited about uh, presenting our gifts to the Lord? Huh? I'm, I'm super excited about presenting our gifts to the Lord. And you know, uh, mom and dad were like, "Do you think you're ready to do this?" And I was like, "I'm able. Like, I, I'm able to do it. You know, uh, I'm able." Hey, hey, hey. Uh, if you're really able, listen to me for a minute. All right. Let's I just, am. Just, can get closer. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. I, 
here's the deal, okay? Here's the dealio. Here's the dealio, okay? I'm really working on this uh, franchise for the place. <laughs> need That's to focus where... on giving our gifts. Why are you talking about franchises? Uh, it's like you know, you're not that interested in the gifts. I, I, I am, but uh, here's what I'm saying, okay, brother? Yeah. Do not don't, don't outdo me. I, I really haven't given me. I haven't given my best. All right, it's not my best. It's not my best. All right, it's something, but it's not my best. Well, here's the thing. My I can turn Hispanic a little bit, isn't it? I think I should do what I'm able. <laughs> if I'm able to give my best, I think I should. I, yeah, just just for the sake of our relationship, our brotherhood, you know, just I, I'm just telling you, I I need you to have my back. I don't, I my, mine ain't that best. You know what I'm saying? No, you, but you look. Your name's Kane. You can do the best if you want to. You are able to do your best too, Kane. Able, able. Look, I'm giving. I think my best. I can give my best at the Kane's restaurant, but not, not right now. Just, just go with me. Just go with me, okay? Okay. okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I'm able. Okay. Uh, he's coming. He's coming. Here, okay. here he is. Here he is. Here. Oh, oh. hello, <laughs> H- hello, God. Hello. I've brought my best from oh, my flock. Oh dear. Sea lions. Oh dear, that's something else. And that's, I'm, that I'm, pelt is expensive. You gave the very best. I gave the best. Hey, okay, buddy, I'm giving my very best to you. <laughs> Abel, Abel, Abel. I was able. I gave my best. Hey, Abel. Uh huh. Hey, uh-huh. Yes. That was your best. That pelt. That's expensive. Yeah. You should have seen the face on that seal. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but uh, I don't think the seal was very happy. You know what I'm saying? He's in a better place now. <laughs> All right. Hey, let me give. Uh, hey, 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 Lord, it's me, Kane. Uh, working on so many things right now. Been really busy. Got a lot of irons and fire. Um, but I have a little gift for you. Uh, I think you're going to like it. Um, it's right here. This is the uh, Dallas board game um, of the Ewing family. It's a record game that I, no, no, Lord, there's no records in there. What is that? Um, no, there's a there's a trophy of some sort. Oh, here's a here's a field uh, trophy from uh, Northern Hills Elementary. So lots of stuff in here. Uh, but uh, well, no, it wasn't my best, but it was something, right, Lord? Isn't that good enough? Huh. Um, okay, Abel, Abel. Awkward. The, uh, God's, God's, God, um, God didn't accept my gift. I, I think you're supposed to give your best. <clears throat> hey, uh, Abel, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Huh? Um, you didn't have my back. I'm not mad, kind of mad, but, um, how about we go over into that field over there and let's just talk about it, huh? Okay. Move that bus! <laughs> so that's the story of Cain and Abel, sort of. You might want to read that at some point or have your mom and dad read it to you. Uh, But really, the point of that story is that um, when they were giving their offering, making their offering to God, their sacrifice to God, um, Abel gave his best and Cain just gave, you know, he just gave. It it says that in particular, he just he just gave, but it wasn't his best. And the, the, the point is, like, God deserves our best at Bedtime Bible Stories. We talk about people using your creative bests and how we try to use our creative best to honor God. And God deserves our best all the time. He doesn't deserve what, what the rest, what we have left. He deserves our best. I love that, Tommy. So what does that look like for you when you give your creative best, not just as the scripture says, some, because sometimes we can just go to God and we just give him some, mm-hmm. but what creative best? Even like those two great, our two great friends at the start of our show tonight, yeah. how they did the Legos and they, they were using their creative best and God has made each one of you unique and an individual your own person. Here's the trap. 
sometimes we don't give our best because we're comparing ourselves to other people. And even in scripture, it says that Cain got angry. Cain did something out of his anger because he wasn't focused on what he could do for God. He started comparing and looking around and seeing what other people were doing instead of just focusing on giving his very best. Friends, no matter if we're 8 to 80, we can get caught up in comparing ourselves to so many people. God made you unique. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Use your best and give it to God. Yeah. Uh, and hey, Eddie, thank you for bringing up Emma and Caitlin because they, they did a great job of really giving their best, their creative best. And by the way, Eddie, do you know what the word is? I'm going to say best. Nailed it. Yes. Nailed it. Yes. And, and it really goes along. This story works so well with our memory verse for the week, which is John 3.16, because guess what? God gave his best. God gave his one and only son, Jesus, as a sacrifice. He gave him uh, the best for us. So for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. I love that. Oh, Hey, memorize that and send it to us at skitguys.com, us at skitguys.com, or video it and tag us at skitguys. We would love to put it on our show. You doing your creative best. Show us the ways you're using your creative best. I love it. Eddie, you want to pray us out, buddy? I will. Let's bow our heads. This is just talking to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you that you have designed each one of us as an original. We are an original masterpiece, not a carbon copy of anybody else. And may we use our very best, our creative best for you, God, to impact the world. In your name I pray. Amen. Now as we end this day, as we count those sheep We had fun with our Bible story Now go get some sleep Bye buddy, I love you Love you too Bye, Bye.